Hey everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli with Kate O'Connor reporting from Air Venture 2018 in Oshkosh. Now you know all about the big avionics manufacturers, Garmin, Avidyne, Aspen, Bendix King, TQ. TQ? Who the hell is TQ? Well, TQ is a German company and they're big in the commercial aircraft industry in Europe. They've got a lot of equipment on Airbus airplanes that probably you've never heard of. Anyway, here at AirVenture for the first time, they're showing a complete line of radio and transponder equipment for small aircraft. It's pretty good looking stuff, and we got a look at it today. So for our first time here in Oshkosh, we have brought with us uh, certified uh, devices. So we have a two and a quarter uh, inch radio, which is uh, the lightest one on the market right now. It has a TFT screen, a color TFT screen, we have this uh, class one mode Sierra transponder and we have uh, smaller devices of that radio too. It has the same screen, but the housing is much smaller. So if uh, panel space is an issue, that would be the right product to go for. Um, we also have a remote control head for our radio. So if you have a tandem seat configuration or really uh, limited panel space behind then that would be the product to go for to control that radio which you can then install anywhere uh, in the aircraft. Um, well, TQ is stepping into the market of general aviation about two years ago when they took over Dittel Avionic, um, a brand which was known in Europe for more than 40 years. They did high quality radios and transponders. Um, we took that over. We uh, Oh, uh, re-engineered it, uh, we got uh, rid of all the little bugs uh, which were in there and now have a, a real German quality product which is produced about 20 miles west of Munich. So the radios uh, come at around 1,150 euros. Um, the transponder is roughly at 1,500 euros which is very competitive to the rest of the market. Um, maybe uh, the people here in the US know about the 8.33 mandate, which uh, took place in Europe. So we got a market share of this two and a quarter inch uh, uh, radio market of uh, roughly 45, 46%. More than 16,000 devices were sold on the market. So that's quite a, a remarkable step for TQ in the last two years that we got such a big market share and were able to compete quite well. For the first time ever we are showing also a glass panel. Um, it's uh, mainly dedicated first of all to the experimental market. It has all the same features uh, which you uh, want to have today. So we can easily compete with a Garmin or a Dynan Avionics cockpit at a way lower price, uh, a better quality and especially using it by a pilot is super simple. It's like getting an iPhone, you don't have a manual to read through. You just go into it and it really teaches uh, itself how to be, be used. And there are a lot of benefits in it. So just check it out on our website. It's a really cool thing. We are here in Oshkosh uh, and in the Hangar B, right in the middle, we have the boost number 2106 to 107. Um, you can't miss us here. We would be happy to meet you here. And if you can't make it to our booth, just check out our website, which is www.tq-general-aviation.de for Germany.